Conservation projects for native grasslands are so important because grasslands are one of the most endangered ecosystems globally. In Saskatchewan alone, over the past 25 years, we've lost over 800,000 hectares. That number is really hard to imagine, but it, it really is representing loss of habitat, loss of grass for grazing, and a loss of those ecosystem services. So some of the important ecosystem services that grasslands provide is that they filter our water, they ensure that there isn't flooding downstream by capturing a lot of that water. It can sequester carbon. It's also really important breeding habitat and stopover habitat for migratory birds. This place is host to a wide diversity of species at risk and they really rely on native grasslands. Hi, I'm Eliza Mitchell. I'm the chair of the Conservation Committee of the Weston Family Foundation. Canadian grasslands are ecologically valuable and also extremely threatened, so they became an obvious target for our interest. And we always like working landscapes, keeping Canadians working on the land, um, and having environmentalists and ranchers working together was a very attractive proposal for us. So Nature Conservancy of Canada works with ranchers in partnership to make sure that conservation can happen on agricultural lands. We are able to help ranchers by um, funding grants that improve these stewardship practices. So for example, the, the Valmarie Pasture was able to purchase portable electric fencing uh, with this stewardship grant. Valmer Grazing Corp consists of 53 different ranchers bringing their animals together on 100,000 acres we leased from the provincial government. The Weston Family Prairie Grasslands Initiative has helped us to purchase these two grazers to use on the pasture for different projects from creating different nesting habitat for birds to being able to combat some of our grass species that we're trying to get rid of or keep control of. This particular fence helps us tackle invasive species by letting us remotely put up fence where uh, crested wheat or other invasive species might be. Um, we're able to intensively graze, mob graze those areas to reduce the seed bank or the plants that are growing. This particular fence is highly visible and it is electric so it removes the chances of collision with sage grouse or um, wildlife such as elk or moose, deer and pronghorns. It's because of cattle or bison that are grazing these landscapes that they've been able to stay protected and undisturbed. We're delighted to have cattle contribute to the uh, environmental sustainability of the grasslands and uh, we looked at various ways of encouraging that and I think that the Nature Conservancy worked out a really brilliant plan for going forward to allow us to achieve that biodiversity result.